What is going on everybody? It's Mike from Sunny Slope. Family. <laughs> Been watching a lot of live streams of, and that is tripping some people up, man. Uh, going from homestead to family. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's kind of a weird transition. Homestead just rolls off the tongue. Sunny Slope Homestead just rolls off the tongue. We may go back to that or not. Uh, I'm not sure. But the reason I'm making this video today is because, uh, well, We've been having some dead chickens in our coop. Their heads have been missing, and I have no idea what was killing them. Whatever it was, it was a nighttime predator, but we caught it. And you're not gonna believe what I caught in my trap. It's, it's pretty cool. I'll give you a hint though. It only has one eye, so try to figure that out. <laughs> America. So needless to say, these uh, chickens, you can't really hear them right now, but uh, they're not happy because this uh, this predator was going through the chicken coop door and it would get in through there and then terrorize the chickens and then just start ripping heads off. And what I did is I set up a, uh, a trap, like a, a raccoon trap at the door. So it had to go in and go walk through the trap trap closed behind it and it worked the first night I picked it up uh, or it worked the first night I I put it in place I just didn't think it would work that fast and I didn't think I'd catch what I caught <laughs> to say the least so uh, every night I shut the chicken coop door from my house because it's a remote access door I know it that is really fancy but it is what it is it it actually is controlled by a remote and it's controlled by daylight and sunlight. Uh, the nighttime ambient light controls it as well, but that hasn't been working too well. And I'm going to show you this door because I'm going to tell you not to get this door because it's just been an absolute nightmare. And it's probably, it's more than likely has been all the problems I've been having with uh, uh, predators getting into my chicken coop because this door is unpredictable. Getting a little bit in more into the story or what's been going on. Uh, every morning I wake up to work, uh, for work, I go, my first, my routine is go hit the button and open the chicken coop door right through here. And doing that, uh, last three or four mornings, I've noticed that the door has been open. I had noticed that this door had been open without me opening it at least last four nights. So I uh, thought to myself, Oh, well, the boy must be going down here since he's feeding the goats and stuff. He must be opening that door for me. Well, I asked him, hey, uh, you've been opening that door? And he said, no. And I said, mama, you've been opening that door? She said, no. And I had just hit the button to close the door. So I came outside last night to verify that this door was closed. Come to find out, it's not. And it hasn't been working for the last four days. So... When I came in to, to work on it, to see what the problem is, to make sure it wasn't something simple, I noticed there was a dead chicken in the corner. And it wasn't, um, this was probably like 9 o'clock at night. And this chicken, it wasn't, um, it hadn't been dead for very long, should I say. So I was like, you know what, I had enough. I came up with the idea of putting a trap right here. Putting a trap right here. Ooh, you can hear it. It's shaking. Putting a trap at the entrance door. So when they, so when they walk in, they walk in, they'll walk right in through this hole and they'll go right into that trap and it's going to catch whatever's coming in here and eating these chickens. And man, it is not happy. So take a good look at this door. We'll get a video of the inside. Don't buy these chicken doors. They are not predictable. I'm telling you right now, I wish I would not have bought in this door. Because this door, it was not cheap. And it's been a pain in my butt ever since. I'm going to try to replace the actuator first. That's, um, that's only if I am getting 24 volts to the actuator to see if there's a problem with this right here. Because I've noticed that if I pull down on it, it will start working again. I don't know if you guys are ready to see what's in this cage. This one-eyed monster. This one-eyed oddity. This elusive creature should i say let's go see how bonnie's doing hey bonnie what's going on girl 
you guys are doing so much better down here. Such a doll. And there's Clyde. What's up, Clyde? I can definitely tell you that there is a difference between bottle raised goats and the other because these guys, they're so nice. They're so nice. I much rather have bottle raised goats any day of the week because they let you pet them. I mean, they're just, they're just a pleasure to be around. But enough, enough yakking. Let's see this elusive one-eyed monster. Uh, wait a minute. Maybe I shouldn't say one-eyed monster. You know, you guys know what I mean. All right, I'm done messing with you guys. Let's check this thing out. Oh, you hear it? It's snapping. It's snapping. It's snapping. It's not happy. It's snapping. What could possibly be snapping? Oh, what is it? To step right up and see the one-eyed monster. Ah! What is it? I caught an owl, guys. A freaking owl. I'm going to attempt to pull this guy out of the cage. Well, not out of the cage. I'm going to pull the cage out. And what I'm thinking is... I didn't mean to catch this owl, first of all. I My intentions was not to catch an owl. My intention was to catch a predator of some sort that was unknown that was killing my chickens. Whether it be a raccoon, possum, weasel, something. I did not think I was going to have an owl in a raccoon cage. I mean, they're aerial predators. They fly and hit their prey. Owls do not typically walk up a chicken ramp into a door and then attack things. So, before anybody thinks, you know, I'm doing something illegal. How does a fella go about getting hold of the police? My intentions was not to catch an owl. Which numbers do you put in? The fact of the matter is, is I do have an owl in my possession that's in a trap that I intend to let go on camera to show that I'm not harming this owl. Because believe it or not, owls, it's my favorite bird. I, I love owls, I think they're just majestic. They're beautiful birds. Um, hands down, my favorite bird in the world. So the last thing I wanna do is dispatch or hurt an owl. But this one, if you haven't noticed, it has one eye. I'm gonna go grab it real quick. hissing you's a mad oh you do you only got one eye man that's creepy look at that he's got one eye folks believe it or not this is my good eye and he's hissing and he's snapping and look at those meat hooks look at those meat hooks man I mean seriously you could do some damage with these guys. Oh, they're sharp too. <laughs> He's not happy. Look at those claws, man. Look at those feet. Today's your lucky day, bud. You're going to go find a new home, and you're going to stop killing my chickens. That's all I've got to say. Uh, hello? Can I help you? Can I help you? Can you not eat my clothes? I'm trying to talk to the people here. Yes, I'm trying to talk to the people. We're going to take this guy. We're going to... Bring him up to the house, get him away from the animals because he's stressing all these chickens out. Oh, he's, he's, he's not happy, that's for sure. Uh, get, him, get him somewhere cool and uh, get him relocated. So stand by for that. Ain't that right, buddy? I aim to kill you. Huh. <laughs> he ain't happy. Here with Raptor Conservation Alliance. 
If you have found an injured eagle, hawk, owl, falcon, turkey vulture, please leave a message. I will contact you shortly and get a trained volunteer to you. Thank you so much. Bye. Hi, this is uh, Mike Andreessen. Um, I have a injured owl uh, in a in a trap that I need someone to come and uh, and remove or uh, give uh, aid to. It's uh it's missing an eye, so uh, you can contact me at. I appreciate it. Thank you. <sighs> All right, perfect. So, well, you guys are seeing film on my GoPro. I just got this and I want to tell you guys that I just got off the phone with the the, the Raptor uh, rescue people and I have a man who's on his way to come over and rescue this great horned owl. He is, uh, he's going to come and take this thing and I, I hope that they take it to some sanctuary or something but uh, yeah he's on his way. So let's get a good look at this on the, our camera that we have now, this GoPro Hero 9, and uh, and see how well it works. Gunder, get away from it, puppy. Get away from it, puppy. You're stressing it out. Oh, yep. Yep. Yeah, you're gonna be going to a good place here soon. Gunder, what do you think, boy? You don't like that, do you? You don't like it, do you? What is that? What is that? <laughs> you don't know what to think about that, do you? <laughs> Let's say that Gunder is a little shy or a little nervous of this, uh, <laughs> this owl. <laughs> we'll cover it back up so we don't stress it out. Gunder, what do you got going on there? You got something stuck on your nose? <laughs> you got something stuck on your nose what is that <laughs> what are you doing you got, you got a feather stuck on your nose let's see if you can are you trying to disguise yourself to to blend in with the owl gunder become the owl <laughs> gunder's over there trying to become the owl <laughs> it's not gonna work he's still gonna think you're a big old dog you ain't fooling nobody but like I said, I hope I hope they're able to uh, give it some antibiotics and get this thing better. Uh, I'm not sure if they got a little place where they can keep these things, but uh, uh, I don't think they're going to release this one back in the wild. Even though uh, we find somebody else's chickens, he's going to have a good meal and survive just fine. So, all right, till he shows up. Here it is. Got in the live trap, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, it's I, be fun. <laughs> I have a, a chicken coop down there and oh, yeah. I thought a raccoon was getting there eating my chicken so I put this in the chicken coop door oh, and yeah. he walked in there. How about that? And yeah. that's what I found in the morning, but he, <laughs> yeah, he's, sounds about right. he's got a jacked up eye and he stinks to all high heaven. Oh so. yeah, that's no good. Yeah, that's no good at all. Uh, all right, well, here comes the fun part. Hey, you just let me know when you're ready. Healthy, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh. He's, he's been eating well because he's been eating the chicken yeah, so he, yeah shoot that's no good yeah here yeah i gotta get clock my own all right buddy come on you want me to put this on the back of the utv or something oh, it's all right i think i can try to manage you buddy don't, don't do nothing scary as long as we get those talons that's the biggest thing don't bite it There we are. Yeah. Alright. Might have went a lot better than I was expecting. Oh yeah. Well I hope you guys can save him. Yeah, oh yeah, I think we can, definitely. Yeah, he's got he's healthy. I mean minus, you know, the oh, obvious my. thing there, but other than that, I mean he seems he's real lively. Basically to see how healthy they really are. Would you mind laying that out for me real quick? Yeah, please? sure. Thank you. Appreciate that. Alright, buddy. Get your eye. So he is a little light. I feel there on the breast that he's, I don't know, I'd give him maybe a two or a three, but you can definitely feel 
And now a lot of muscle. Now though. a lot of uh, bone, yep. that's for sure. So that's no good, not ideal. And I bet you it's a lot to do with that eye. Yeah. You know, they're all about eyesight and I guess hearing as well, but it's definitely an important thing for them. Well, I think that's, yeah, that eyeball's gone, but they should be able to do something with them. Definitely. Yeah. And usually, I don't know if he's going to be re-released into the wild. I figure he might be, but we'll see if he can kind of fend for his own. But whenever they do re-release, -re uh, it'll be probably back out in this area. But okay. if you don't want him around because of the chickens, I'm sure we could figure something out. Yeah, I'd prefer him to find a new home, yep. but I don't want him yeah. to. I don't want him to be in harm's way or die or nothing. Yeah, so. absolutely. Well, and they, they do a good job up there. They'll probably do some rehabilitation of some sort. I just remember when I was a child, they'd have these guys at school were able to, uh, like owls, they bring them. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, hopefully he could find a life doing he that. He could. But. There's a good chance. You never know. Yeah, anything's possible. So, all right. Yeah. Hey, well, thanks for grabbing him. Or, yeah. Well, <laughs> thanks for that. Appreciate that. Yeah, my neighbor, my neighbor, he's into conservation and stuff. And I was like, hey, I got this owl in my trap. And I'm yeah. thinking about going to release it over at DeSoto, but it's got a bad eye. And, uh, he knows all the right people to call so he gave me your guys's contact so nice. i'm glad i have it because if i run into any more then yeah i'll be right back over <laughs> i'll be right back over absolutely yeah can do oh man thank you all right perfect make for a fun ride home though if he does <laughs> right all right well hey good stuff man yeah thank you. you too thank you appreciate it all right take care yeah you too what's up fellas ma'am miss bonnie all right, I got some word. I need everybody to listen up. All your worries have been taken care of. Now there might be a hawk in the area, so don't be don't be getting too comfortable. There, buddy. You still got a job to do. Gladys, I'm talking to you too. Yeah, don't be running away from me. I wanted to talk to you guys real quick about that white chicken that we're all trying to identify. I had to call on the expert, and I'm not gonna name drop the expert that I had to call in this special favor to, but let's just say that this expert is on the case of what kind of breed or chicken that is, and hopefully we'll hear back soon. Can I, can I speak with you for a second here, Clyde? Clyde? Clyde. I figured you would be a better caretaker when it comes to like scaring predators away. You know, I don't expect you to uh to like scare away coyotes or anything like that, but like an owl? Come on man, I figured you would uh you show him who's boss. No? No? Maybe next time. Maybe I expect too much from you. Yeah, alright. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry for jerking your chain for a little bit on what was in this trap. Y'all pretty much know that it was some kind of uh, raptor of some sort or something, but all right. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.